Have you ever wondered which companies are ruling the global market in 2024? Well, get ready for some eye-opening insights. In today's video, we're unraveling the top 10 most valuable companies in the world. From tech titans to innovative disruptors, these companies are making waves and reshaping industries as we know them. But before we jump in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest insights and trends. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Number 10. TSMC The Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company stands as the world's largest semiconductor manufacturer, headquartered in Sinchu, Taiwan. Established in 1987 by Morris Chang, TSMC pioneered the concept of a dedicated semiconductor foundry. Semiconductors are the building blocks of electronic devices like smartphones, PCs, laptops, and gaming hardware. TSMC's trajectory skyrocketed from the 2000s onward, propelling Taiwan into a global epicenter for semiconductor manufacturing. Its client roster reads like a who's who of the tech world, including names like Apple, Qualcomm, AMD, Broadcom, NVIDIA, Intel, and even Amazon. TSMC entered the public arena in September of 1994 via the Taiwan Stock Exchange, and later listed its American depository shares on the New York Stock Exchange in October of 1997. In 2020, TSMC's share prices soared due to the heightened demand for chips spurred by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, 2022 witnessed a downturn triggered by global risk aversion. The company rebounded in 2023, nearing a new all-time high. In March 2024, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited proudly flaunts a staggering net worth of $759.22 billion. Number 9. LLY Eli Lilly, a pharmaceutical company based in Indianapolis, Indiana, began its journey back in 1876 with Eli Lilly himself. Since then, it's become one of the biggest names in the pharmaceutical world. Originally, Eli Lilly focused on making medicines, but over time, it expanded its offerings across various medical fields. They cover everything from cancer and heart issues to diabetes, hormones, immune disorders, brain health, and pain relief. Plus, they're really into researching and developing new drugs. You might have heard some of the more popular products like Prozac, which helps with depression, and Humalog, a fast-acting insulin for diabetes. Eli Lilly became part of the stock market in 1952 with the code LLY. While their shares have been growing steadily over the years, they started taking off in 2020. Investors are excited about their strong lineup of new drugs, including one for diabetes and obesity called Munjaro. Eli Lilly's value hit an impressive $724.16 billion, shooting up by a whopping 139.31% in just one year. Number 8. BRKB Berkshire Hathaway isn't just your average company. It's a massive conglomerate with a fascinating history. Originally kicking off in 1839 as a textile maker, it got a major boost when Warren Buffett and his partner Charlie Munger took the reins in the 1960s. They transformed it into a conglomerate with fingers and many pies. Nowadays, Berkshire Hathaway is all about owning chunks of other companies, spanning everything from insurance and manufacturing to energy, tech, media, finance, and everyday goods. At the helm is Warren Buffett, also known as the Oracle of Omaha. His investing savvy has turned Berkshire's annual shareholders meeting in Omaha into a major event. One of the things that sets Berkshire apart is its financial rock solidness. Even during tough times like recessions and financial meltdowns, its hefty cash reserves keep it standing tall. What's interesting is that despite its skyrocketing stock value over the years, Berkshire Hathaway has never dished out dividends to shareholders, a rare move for such a big shot company. Over the last decade, a company's value is often gauged by its market capitalization, calculated by multiplying the current stock price by the total number of shares available. Berkshire Hathaway's net worth stands impressively at $871.1 billion. Number 7. Meta Meta Platforms Inc., formerly known as Facebook, is a major player in the tech world headquartered in Menio Park, California. The rebranding to Meta signaled a shift towards the metaverse. Starting in 2004 as a social networking site by Mark Zuckerberg and his roommates, Facebook quickly gained popularity. It expanded its reach through strategic acquisitions like Instagram and WhatsApp, alongside launching its standalone messaging app, Messenger, and a virtual reality headset. Meta primarily earns its dough by selling ad space on its social media platforms. It also rakes in cash from Reality Labs, which includes its augmented and virtual reality products, and fees from its payment infrastructure. Going public in 2012, Meta saw steady stock growth until 2018, when privacy scandals and underwhelming earnings hit hard. It bounced back soon after, 
riding the pandemic tech wave. However, 2022 proved tumultuous, with investor confidence waning in Meta's metaverse plans. Declining daily users and ad slowdowns soured the mood, but Meta managed to claw itself back up after hitting a seven-year low. Meta Platforms, once called Facebook, is owned by Mark Zuckerberg, who's worth about 177.4 billion US dollars. And as for the company, it's valued at a whopping 1.29 trillion dollars. Number six, GOOG, Alphabet Inc., the parent company of Google, traces its roots back to Google's founding in 1998 by Larry Page and Sergey Brin, then Stanford University students. Google's growth trajectory was nothing short of meteoric, hitting the stock market just six years later. Google's claim to fame is its search engine, which became a household name in the late 90s. Products like Gmail and AdWorks further propelled its expansion, followed by Google Maps, Drive, and Photos. Not to mention, strategic acquisitions like Android in 2005 and YouTube in 2006 played a crucial role. The big bucks for Google roll in through online ads, with other cash cows including Google Cloud, YouTube, the Google Play Store, and hardware sales. Going public in 2004, Google dodged the dot-com bubble burst and saw steady stock growth in the 2000s. A stock split in 2014 and a corporate restructuring in 2015 birthed Alphabet Inc. Shares soared through the latter half of the 2010s, and the pandemic only fueled the fire, driving even more momentum. Alphabet, known widely as Google, holds a hefty market capitalization of $1.7 trillion. This positions Alphabet, or Google in this case, as the sixth most valuable company in the world. Number 5. AMZN Amazon Inc., a powerhouse in the tech and e-commerce realms, originated in 1994 under the leadership of Jeff Bezos who held the CEO reins until 2021 and remains a major shareholder. What started as an online bookstore swiftly evolved into a mammoth marketplace offering a plethora of products. Amazon's ascent skyrocketed in the early 2000s, fueled further by the introduction of Amazon Prime in 2005 and Amazon Web Services a year later, which turned into a cash cow. Not content with just selling stuff, Amazon made waves with innovations like the Kindle e-reader and the voice-activated assistant Alexa snapping up game streaming platform Twitch in 2014 and grocery chain Whole Foods Market in 2017 added to its empire. Today, Amazon's coffers overflow from its online marketplace, AWS, Amazon Prime, and a booming advertisement arm. Going public in 1997 amid the dot-com frenzy, Amazon wedded the subsequent storm alongside other tech firms. But as it diversified, share prices rebounded. The 2010s witnessed explosive growth, culminating in a $1 trillion market cap in 2018. The COVID-19 pandemic turbocharged demand for online shopping and services, further solidifying Amazon's dominance. Amazon's net worth has surged to an incredible $1.82 trillion. Number 4. Saudi Aramco Saudi Aramco, headquartered in Dadaam, Saudi Arabia, is a major player in the oil and gas sector, with the Saudi government holding the lion's share of ownership. Formed in 1933 as the Arabian American Oil Company, through a pact between Saudi Arabia and US-based Standard Oil Company, it became fully under Saudi control in 1980, rebranding as the Saudi Arabian Oil Company, or Saudi Aramco. In 2019, Saudi Aramco made headlines with the world's largest IPO, netting a whopping $29.4 billion. However, only a tiny fraction of the company was up for grabs, with the Saudi government retaining the bulk ownership. The company is owned by Amin H. Nasser, who has an estimated net worth of around $50 million. Number 3. NVDA NVIDIA, a tech giant based in the US, focuses on crafting top-notch graphics processing units, application programming interfaces, and system-on-ship units. Back in 1993, Jensen Huang, Chris Malachowski, and Curtis Prem, all Exxon Microsystem employees, kicked off the NVIDIA journey. Initially diving into GPUs, their big break came in 1997 with the launch of the Riva 128. Building on their success, NVIDIA rolled out the G4 series Integra processors while also diving deep into AI and deep learning. Going public in 1999 smack in the middle of the dot-com bubble, NVIDIA weathered some rocky times before solidifying its position as an industry heavyweight. Come the 2010s, their AI foray sent their stock into overdrive, a trend turbocharged by the COVID-19 pandemic. Though 2022 saw a downturn, NVIDIA bounced back big time in 2023, hitting new stock price highs. 
As of March 2024, Nvidia boasts a net worth of $2.19 trillion. Number 2. Apple Apple, a global tech juggernaut, has been shaping the consumer electronics landscape since its inception in 1976 by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. After Jobs' departure in 2011, Tim Cook took the reins as CEO. While the iPhone steals the spotlight, Apple's product lineup spans the iPad, Mac, Apple Watch, Apple TV, AirPods, and HomePod. Plus, they cook up their software goodies from iOS, macOS, to Safari and iTunes. Expanding beyond hardware, Apple's service suite includes Apple Music, Apple TV+, Apple Arcade, Apple News+, and the App Store. Going public in 1980, Apple shares initially enjoyed a slow and steady climb until 2016. Then, fueled by a growing customer base, blockbuster product launches, and robust finances, Apple stock surged. Despite the COVID-19 market tumble in March of 2020, Apple shares skyrocketed, cementing its position as a Wall Street heavyweight. As the CEO of Apple since 2011, Tim Cook leads the world's most valuable company. While his wealth is primarily derived from his Apple salary and stock grants, his estimated net worth is approximately $1.9 billion. Meanwhile, Apple commands a staggering net worth of $2.64 trillion. Number 1. MSFT Microsoft, headquartered in Redmond, United States, traces its origins back to 1975 when Bill Gates and Paul Allen launched it in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Initially a modest software vendor for personal computers, Microsoft hit the big leagues in 1980 by partnering with IBM to develop MS-DOS. The game changer came in 1985 with the release of Windows, followed by the Office Suite in 1989. Throughout the 90s, Microsoft ruled the PC software domain with Windows reigning supreme as the world's go-to operating system, a title it still holds today. Going public in 1986 on NASDAQ, Microsoft rode the dot-com wave to dizzying heights, only to come crashing down post-bubble burst. Stabilizing post-Windows XP and Xbox triumphs, Microsoft took off anew under Satya Nadella's leadership, pivoting towards cloud computing and services. This shift catapulted the stock into overdrive in the latter half of the 2010s. The COVID era further fueled Microsoft's ascent, with remote work and cloud services taking center stage. In the Forbes 400 list of wealthiest Americans in 2023, Bill Gates was ranked 6th with a wealth of $115 billion. Gates' estimated net worth stands at $150 billion, making him the 5th richest person in the world according to Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Meanwhile, Microsoft boasts a net worth of $3.02 trillion. This represents an impressive increase of 58.84% in just one year. Thanks for joining us on this journey through some of the world's most valuable companies. Which company story fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more regular updates. Explore the topic of luxurious vehicles with our video, Top 10 Most Luxurious Large SUVs in 2022, by clicking here. Or are you looking for more captivating content? We've got just what you need. Hit play on another intriguing video and keep the excitement going. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.